breaking news coming out of Mexico. Jaime Maussan is sharing this video right here with us at Third Phase Moon. Take a look at this. What the heck is going on? Is this some kind of new technology, some kind of new drone being seen over Mexico? This is incredible stuff. Uh, we've got Brent Cousins here. and Right now, we're just kind of breaking this down. We've got some videos coming in. But this one kind of came to the forefront. We decided to share it with you right away. Brett, what's your thoughts here? Yeah, we're going to take a closer look at this, Blake, and see exactly what's going down here. I would like a little bit more information and a longer content, a longer video of what we're looking at here. Let's just take a look for sure right now. Here's a comparison of visual side-by-side -side characteristics. This has been done in AI, right, Blake? Absolutely. What we're looking at is enhanced footage via AI from the video itself to give you a clearer picture. AI is going to be uh, involved in in the in the forthcoming hunt for UFOs in regards to enhancing blurry footage. And right now, this is a freeze frame step by step of the original footage that Jaime Mossan is claiming to be something otherworldly. Look at this one from Denver. We covered this earlier on Third Phase of Moon this year. It does have this pod-like uh, characteristics. Uh, that's why I think Jaime Mossan brought this up in comparison to what we're looking at. And he also states that you could almost see an alien uh, in the cockpit. Man, this is getting crazy, Brent. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it's interesting comparing uh, both of these, uh, the evidence uh, that's coming in the footage. And right now we're seeing this uh, figure, this face uh, on this bulbous part of the craft where you see it. And it has this like a uh, great comparison back to back right here. This, this is pretty cool. Yeah, we got Mexico, we got Denver. If you could imagine Mexico on the left, if it was uh, more horizontal, it would almost replicate the one next in Denver, the same video. But could this be manipulated? Could this be a massive hoax? Some CGI going on here. Uh, at the moment, I can't rule that out. I, again, I wish there was more footage. Listen. Yeah, again, a little bit of the original raw, but I, I wish I had a little bit more, um, you know, just behind the scenes, f the reactions from the people. Yeah, I'm having a problem with it being so short. It pretty much lasts for maybe m no more than eight se seconds at the most. And we don't see any pullback from the camera itself showing the area and giving it more provenance in the shaky uh, camera aspect, uh, showcasing that this could be indeed real. We're seeing just kind of this tight shot that lasts for a minimal amount of time. And it's still a uh, subject to maybe looking like CGI. And here's an AI representation of it, which could be deceiving. This is going to be the new way of the future where AI is going to try to manipulate what it thinks it's looking at. And maybe they don't even know what it's looking at in the first place from a maybe a doctored video. It could be doctored. You're exactly right, Brett. And I got to say that, uh, you know, this AI process of thinking that it knows what it's uh, looking at could be pareidolia for the AI itself and they're misrepresenting it. But again, this Denver, Colorado shot that we uh, shared with you earlier on Third Phase Moon this year is quite incredible when you have to uh, maybe contemplate that there is maybe something extraordinary going, going on, uh, an extra threshold in the cockpit uh, viewed behind this uh, windshield of this cockpit. Again, pareidolia comes to mind, but again, it is interesting to have that thought process. If indeed this is something genuine, this is the big question here. Yeah, just looking at this, this is a great close up right there. And uh, the side by side comparisons. I'm still leaning toward the one being on the right as legitimate for being that it's nothing's being created in CGI or in the computer itself. This one on the left that just dropped today, I'm still on the fence on this. Uh, we need more video for uh, Third Phase Moon and everybody else to be convinced if this is a legitimate sighting. 
let's just uh, take for a quick second that this is legitimate footage. And this is some kind of prototype of a drone that we're not aware of. Uh, at the moment, we're not seeing any kind of means of propulsion. And it does have this characteristic of aerodynamics through the air itself. Uh, you see the camera, it's moving around, trying to lock in. Right now, we're not seeing any um, standouts that this is uh, manipulated. It seems genuine. Again, we just wish there there's more footage. So we're going to ask Jaime Mausan if he's had any more uh, contact with the eyewitness. Again, this the AI has manipulated and enhanced what it perceives of what this craft is. Is this a showing more dynamic structure of some unknown meta propulsion, Brent? Yeah, this looks uh, pretty crazy, actually. We're just looking at it. And if you're going to say if this is man made or uh, something otherworldly, this actually has credibility to saying that this looks something very strange, not maybe something in our assets. This is pretty peculiar. Now, this one, again, all these videos that we're presenting tonight. We're just asking the big question, which one's legitimate? And if this is uh, showcasing real technology that we're seeing right now, this is pretty incredible. Again, Jaime Mossan has uh, stated that uh, some of these craft are piloted by extraterrestrials in nature, and this is proof of it. We at Third Phase Moon are still uh, speculative in regards to some of the information coming out of that region you know there's a lot of hoaxing going on just recently we exposed the hoax over there in santa monica where uh, a lady wanted to pull a fast one over everybody in the major media and they fell for it but again the mexico enhanced virgin uh, is interesting to look at here Again, could it be something that's in the sky legitimately and then they tracked on it and overlaid something on a tracking? You see the power line uh, below that gave a little bit of a uh, sense of realism there, but I wish we had more footage. So again, Jaime Mausan, if you're listening to us, uh, we would urge you to reach out to this person that shot it and see if there's any more information in regards to this uh, video capture yeah exactly what we're gonna see here this video is probably gonna go viral in all sorts of other areas maybe not just third phase people are gonna see this and we're just asking the big question we need to see more of this footage to make sure what we're looking at is 100 percent legit because i would like this to be real and that's where we're holding on to we just uh all you guys out there third phasers you guys are the best out there getting that information out and finding it and finding the truth. This is awesome. Again, a still image uh, created via the original video and enhanced by AI technology. AI is on the forefront and there's a lot of new way to process imagery and it is quite exciting. Again, this is original video frame by frame and you can see that the blur seems to match up and again with this colorado sighting who knows what's really going on in our skies so all we know is that there is a phenomenon and people like you are capturing it on their cameras we've got new videos coming in and uh tomorrow we're going to present to you something's pretty special from spacex uh enhanced footage of what looks to be something quite amazing right yeah Blake pretty excited about uh the upload coming up today it, they, we see this spiraling kind of object uh reach into the ISS as it's out there in real time and this is spectacular footage uh can't wait to show up for you within hours from now ISS SpaceX all kinds of footage coming in in the next uh, few hours right here at third phase of moon stand by everybody we'll see you real soon we just wanted to put this out so you guys could uh get your thoughts right in the comments below be safe we'll talk to you blake cousins